And finally, finally this week, we move on to the Secret Service. The only people on Earth who can pull off aviator sunglasses. <laughs> Gwyneth. <laughs> it, it has been... It's been a rough few years for the Secret Service, and unfortunately, this week, there was yet another scandal. Some new trouble for the Secret Service after a review by the Homeland Security's Inspector General found dozens of agents improperly accessed Congressman Jason Chaffetz's unsuccessful job application for the agency. That's right. The Secret Service attempted to embarrass one of their biggest critics, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, by leaking his rejected application to join them, essentially behaving like a high school table of mean girls. <laughs> you only hate us because we won't let you sit with us, Jason. <laughs> Don't look at our food. You're making it uncool. <laughs> and, and, and I don't know what's worse here. The fact that the Secret Service is so petty that they broke the law to embarrass Jason Chaffetz, or the fact that they're so stupid they didn't realise if you want to embarrass Jason Chaffetz, just wait and he will do it for you. <laughs> Just this week, he tried to ambush the president of Planned Parenthood with a seemingly damaged slide, damaging slide. And watch how that went. It's the reduction over the course of years in pink. That's the reduction in the breast exams. And the red is the increase in the abortions. I, That's what's going is, on this, in your organization. This, this, is a, this is a slide that has never been shown to me before. I pulled those numbers directly out of your corporate reports. Oh, my excuse me, my loggers are informing me that the source of this is actually Americans United for Life, which is an anti-abortion group. So I would check your source. Then we will get to the, to the bottom of the truth. You want embarrassing? That's embarrassing. And that's a guy who just announced today he wants to be House Speaker. And yet his chart was so misleading, a journalist later pronounced it terrible and dishonest, saying, this is not how charts work. <laughs> and it's true. His, his chart doesn't even have a y-axis. <laughs> which means you could literally write anything down the side of that, including total number of angry owls in millions. <laughs> or words ascending vertically on a line, and it would make just as much sense as his. And, and you don't even need charts to embarrass Jason Chaffetz. You just need to Google him. We did, and we immediately found this photo of him and Anthony Weiner looking like they're being blown by a pair of goats. <laughs> or, or that's, that's just the beginning. Or there's this video of him taste-testing burgers on Capitol Hill and saying this. It's a very plain cheeseburger. Not much excitement going on in that meat. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's, that's exactly what that goat was thinking when it was blowing you. <laughs> or, or how about... How about that time? How about... How about that time in 2009 he got weirdly choked up about the death of Abraham Lincoln? Sadly, only six weeks into his second term, the president was shot and killed at Ford's Theatre. 200 years after he was born, this humble man of great courage and conviction <laughs> continues to be one of our country's <laughs> most beloved statesman. What? what are you crying about? It was 144 years ago. It's time to move on. He was going to be dead by now anyway. <laughs> My point is, Secret Service, shame on you. If you had known anything about Jason Chaffetz, you should have already known you cannot embarrass him more than he can embarrass himself. <laughs> and now, this. And now, 